all right hey what's up people and today we're gonna be homebrewing our 3ds 2ds new 3ds and we're gonna be using a method called ninjax um yes i've heard of it but i never bought the game because it was too expensive as homebrew was launched after that game people will sell it for about 50 60 to even 90 dollars brand new used like 40 50 dollars and I wasn't gonna spend that much money on a game that was initially worth, I don't know, I think $20 brand new when it pretty came out, like back in 2011. Anyways, this is what it looks like, Cubic Ninja. It's not for sale on the eShop. Uh, Nintendo took it down due to somebody finding an exploit for homebrew off that game. So you know how Nintendo is. They find, they find out you're doing something, I guess, for them is illegal. Then they're gonna try to shut down whatever games that you could homebrew off it off the eShop. But I'm still, you know, shocked that Ocarina of Time is there. Um, there's other games that are there that you could homebrew off them. That's weird. I guess due to the fact that they're popular and people do want to buy them, then I guess that's why they don't take them down. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, they'll sell, they'll sell this at eBay. Amazon, EB Games, GameStop, and other game stores. So, okay, let's get started now. So, we're gonna come to this page. I'll leave the link to the description. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, download the Homebrew Starter Kit, drag the files into the SD card, and that's pretty much it. Okay? <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, right here, you're gonna see Get Ninjax, and you're gonna select your console's firmware. Okay, only select you if you're running it, this on a new 3DS XL and blah blah. You should know the rest. Okay, regular 3DS, which is the old 3DS, as well as the old 3DS XL and 2DS owners should select old. Okay, so if you're running on a new 3DS and new 3DS XL, because there's two of them, obviously, you're gonna be running the new 3DS uh, firmware. Okay. If not, it's not gonna work. Okay, so me personally, I'm running an old 3DS. So if you're using the old 3DS, old 3DS XL, and a 2DS, just follow what I'm doing, because like I said, I'm using the old 3DS. Okay, so we're gonna select 11.1.0-34. This works for 11.1 and 11.2. Obviously, we can't select 11.2 because they have not uploaded the payload. I mean, updated the payload since Ninjax still works on the newest payload. So there's no need for them to update the payload. Okay. So select 34 and remember, select your system's firmware. So I'm running the U for USA. <coughs> okay. So now let's update the QR. And this is very painful, guys. You have to scan 15 QR codes. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my 3DS here. Now, once you see this, we're gonna press A. Now, here we're gonna hold L, R, X, and Y. And it's gonna pop out a message. Do you wanna delete all data? Just press yes, just to avoid anything. All right, just press yes, and deleting data, okay? I'm probably gonna speed up the video because it's gonna take a bit. Okay, now we're gonna go to create QR code. And very important, now we're gonna press scan QR code and let me move this out of the way a bit we're gonna scan this code right here this QR code as you can see the message the message on the bottom screen pretty much disappeared so once that disappears you can press B and then go to the next QR code and then we're gonna press scan QR code as you can see on the bottom it says make sure the entire QR code is contained on the screen in order to scan okay so I'll scan it again 
And as you can see, the message disappeared. And we could press B to go back on the 3DS. And once again, we could scan QR code. So we're gonna scan all 15 of them for this to work. And this could be painful because it does not get it right away. So I'm just gonna show you about three of them. Okay, as you can see the message disappeared on the bottom screen. We're gonna press D on the 3DS and scan the next one. And scan the code again. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed up the video and yeah, we'll go from there. All right guys, so <clears throat> on the last QR code that we're gonna scan, once we scan it, we're gonna be pretty much done. So I'm trying to scan this one pretty good right here. And it's quite annoying, but hopefully it scans. Okay. So all the QR codes are scanned now. So all 15. So now we're gonna press B, press B, and it's gonna give you the loading screen. Now we're gonna go to QR code again. And if everything done correctly, it's gonna launch Homebrew. As you can see, homebrew has been launched and that's pretty much it guys I'm sorry it's probably not the like the best tutorial I done but yeah I try to do as much as I can to explain it easily and yeah hopefully you guys don't have any issues running into this if you like the video Hit the like button if you want to support the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you dislike the video. Then hit the dislike button. And that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And like I said, it's pretty easy, just time consuming. All right, guys. See you guys on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So before I end the video, I just want to show you guys that once you have all QR codes scanned uh, you could just go to the scan QR code and it should basically take you to the homebrew launcher right away without any issues so we're gonna press a we're gonna go to create and then just go to QR code and it should launch homebrew all the time without any issues okay Yeah, so it just crashed, but it should work. Okay, let's give it one more shot and see if it works. So I'm gonna press A, create, and then QR code. And it should launch Homebrew right now. Alright, that's pretty much it guys. Once again, like I said, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good one.